Hello everyone, on this video we are going to see how to pass data back from one screen to the previous one. You can see here the demo we are going to build. You go to the other screen and you can select one option and the one you selected appears here. You can select the other one and it appears here. So let's build it now. A starting project, I have here an empty application I can show you, like this, and I'm going to start practically from scratch. And I have here the main dart and the home screen only. So I'm going to change now the, the color from blue to orange, I think it looks better this way. And in home screen, I'm going to place now the widget and uh, create the layout we want. So instead of a container, put center. And by the way, if you want to follow along or have access to the code, the finished code, you can find a link in the description to, to the GitHub repository. Now put a colon here. The main axis alignment is center. This column has children, the image and the button. So first I'm going to place here the image. The image is from network. And put here the variable that is the string and contains the selection. So as default is this one, but it can be changed when you select another image in the next screen and the, the data we pass from the other screen is going to be stored in this variable. And now the button here is going to be an elevated button with an action on press but for now I will leave it like this and then come back in a bit. This button has a text. You can see here the image and the, the button. And put some padding here to look better. I think it's look better now. I'm going to create a method here and I need to pass to this method the context. This method is going to be a sync because we are going to wait from the data that comes from the other screen. But first I will create the navigation, then I will pass the data. So let me show you. We can remove for now the async and uh, use navigator.push, pass the context and here place the screen you want to go through material page root and builder. You pass the context and the destination. Destination is going to be second screen. Like this, we can create now the this screen. I'm going to create it here inside the folder screens. Call it selection screen dot dart import material dot dart it's going to be a stateless widget and the name selection screen you can save it and save this one as well you need just to import this like this, 
and pass this to the down press here and pass the context like this and change this from a container to a scaffold and you can save and run it You can see we press the button we go to the second screen we can now build this screen change the dap bar title to pick an option replace the container here to a center widget inside the center widget you have this the shell that it's a colon similar to the other screen but here we have two image and two buttons so the main axis alignment is as well center and the shield then like I said two image and two buttons first one image from network and I can create here the variables with the with the image I will copy, I have it here already. Now place it here, the first one. And it's not for memory, it's from network. The button inside a padding with the height from all sides. And inside the padding as a child an elevated button with an unpress and a shell unpress it's going to be to pop this um, screen and go back but I will do it in a bit and the child a text in the unpress Besides dismiss this screen, we are going to pass which image was selected. So in this case, which button was pressed, but you can use the same logic to pass other data. Okay, let me organize this better. Okay, it's missing here the SME colon. And we can save and uh, see here. Ah, okay, it's working for now. You can see if you we press, uh, there is no action yet. Let's add the other image and the other button. We can copy this and place it here and only change this from A to B and uh, the same with the text and we can save it and run it you can see it's all working with both image here but we don't have an action in the buttons yet that's what uh, I'm going to place now so like I said this method to pass data you need to put it as a sync and here save the result from uh, this action so final result if result different than no because if you don't pass data the result is going to be no and uh, you have to be prepared to handle that if it is not no, we need to change state and uh, put the selection URL equals the result. And put this as a wait because we need to wait the response. Go here and uh, now we can dismiss the screen and pass the date. We are going to do that 
the, on the on press so navigate dot pop the context and here pass the result you want in this this one and uh, in the other button the other Can we can test it now it all should be working and let's select this one you can see it's working if you, we select this one it's working so this was a simple example but you can use the same method in uh, other applications so thanks guys for watching and uh, if you like this one don't forget to press the like button and uh, subscribe See you in the next one.